I am here with, um, well, why don't you tell me who you are? I'm uh, Håkon Viumli. That's a tough name to pronounce in English. Mm -hmm. And what do you do over here at Opera? I'm the CTO at Opera. That means I get to play with all the technology, try to look at standards, see where Opera is heading, more long term, more than short term. Uh -huh. And uh, what kind of new standards are Opera working on right now? Well, we're involved in a bunch of stuff. We, we really want to make web standards work. We want to make sure that there can be content on the web that's encoded in documented web standards. We want those standards to be freely available for everyone and we want them to be interoperable between browsers. So we're involved in a lot of stuff. My own area is CSS. I've been working a lot on CSS. You have some uh, interesting connection with CSS. What is that? <laughs> I do. I proposed CSS in 1994. That's a long time ago now. But uh, we, we, we proposed it. Uh, I was then working for W3C and uh, that was CSS1 and that has grown to CSS2 um, and then when browsers started supporting CSS for real we could really use it for real on the web and that's the case now. So now there's lots of people interested in CSS coming with lots of proposals for how to extend it. So with this uh, new CSS3 support that Opera supporting on the new selectors, how yeah. does that compare to support of other browsers well, such as Firefox and IE? Um, Opera is, we're not f at the forefront there. I think Mozilla have been ahead of us. Um, we're still way ahead of uh, Microsoft, of course. The IE is really lagging behind. They're trying to play catch up now. We'll see how well that goes. Um, we are trying in CSS3 to split work into different modules so that uh, you don't have to do the whole CSS3 in one go because that's going to be a big effort. Selectors is one of about 30 modules, I think. Um, so I think. For, for, as far as Harper is concerned, we, we would pick perhaps five out of those modules and see if we can make progress there. The thing is, we can't move alone here either. We have to also look at what other uh, browsers are doing. So we're working with, um, with the Mozilla people, with Safari people in the What working group uh, to extend the... Um, is I, is I, <coughs> excuse me, is IE involved with this? The Microsoft developers, I don't think they have participated much. I think they, they say they cannot for intellectual property reasons or, or something, but, but we talk to them as well and they are involved in W3C, for example, in the CSS working group there. Okay. So we have, a, at a technical level, we have, have a very, very good relationship with those people. Mm. So what good does it do if the other, other browsers, just Mozilla, Opera, Safari support these standards, if it doesn't? I mean, people won't code specifically for these browsers. That's not a given. I think that could happen. I think at some point you could see uh, the the alternative browsers, if you will, uh, have enough market share to really have people uh, make content for those browsers. Uh, so I think it's a question of time, you know, whether that that is at at twenty percent or thirty percent. But at some point, that that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Will do you think they will force IE to change their minds? I think uh, IE, if they want to have users like they have. We'll, we'll have to, to catch up. And they've started that work with IE7. They fixed some bugs. And they haven't really caught up with, with new features. For example, they don't support the, the Canvas uh, element, which the other browsers support by now. Um, but I think they're going to have to they're going to have to come along. And we would welcome them. We would really want them to be, be come along with there. You know, from from one perspective, we are competitors, all the browsers. At the same time. Uh, we, we all want the web to succeed. We want there to be good, high quality, uh, as well as trashy content on the web. We want the, everyone to be, you know, be able to use web standards. And from that perspective, we, we all collaborate. Mm -hmm. um, about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, you wrote the famous article on CNET proposing the uh, ACID2 test, or announcing it to the world. Yeah. How is that coming along? That's right. The ACID2 test has been very interesting. Uh, we proposed it when IE7 uh, was announced, and we wanted uh, we wanted it to be one test where you could see on one page, you know, whether is, is your standard support was correct or not. Because at, at at that point, Microsoft had several times been saying, you know, don't we support standards? Well, show us a page that doesn't work, and because you know people couldn't really use the new standards because there were no support for it. It's a chicken and egg problem. So we wanted to create a page that was really encoded as per the standards using parts of the standard that nobody had really explored yet uh, and we wanted the page to be very difficult. So we made this page um, 
it's very complex, but when you view it in a standards compliant browser, it looks very simple. It's just a smiley face. Um, and I think that has helped a lot as in testing. Anyone can go in and see whether this looks right or not now. Mm. You can easily see at once whether, whether your browser supports uh, ACID uh, 2 or not. So which browsers are smiling now? The web browser is smiling, well, Opera is smiling, um, Safari is smiling, uh, Safari was actually ahead of us uh, mm -hmm. there. Compare, I, I believe. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, they have supported it as well. And I've seen Mozilla builds with it too. Not in the standard di distribution, but with some special builds. So it's coming along, and we hope that IE uh, will come along as well. Are they working towards achieving that goal? Not as it seems now. It, it seems that they are actually you know, disregarding it uh, on purpose. Uh, in their blogs they've been saying, we, we, we don't consider it, uh, you know, that's not what our customers is asking us for. So it seems like the whole idea of, of creating an asset test was towards Microsoft. But well, it, it, well I, 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 I wouldn't say that. It was inspired by the IE7 um, announcement, uh, but we, we, we made a test that was difficult for all browsers, not just for, for Microsoft, and it's proven very helpful for other uh, implementations to, to align themselves. So overall, would you consider it a success or still a work in progress? I, th I think it's a, it, it is a work in progress and it is a success. Mm -hmm. And one last question, do you uh, blog? Uh, <laughs> no, not, not really. <laughs> You have a website with uh, blog entries, but is it considered a blog? I, I, I don't use the word blog much myself for that. No, I, I write some articles sometimes, but I find it hard to sort of you know, produce daily uh, writings. I, I write way too slowly in order to, to have a blog, and you know, there's way too many grammatical and semantic errors, so I'm mm -hmm. a slow, slow writer, actually. Because mm -hmm. you have... You pretty much have a lot of interesting stuff that you write about when you write <laughs> when in I the write, more public forums and CNETs and other, know, other places. When I get angry enough to sit down and write, then hopefully it's, it, it, it's meaningful. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> uh -huh. So where can people find you on the web? What's that? Where can people find you on the web? Uh, my URL is people.opera.com slash howcome. Howcome is my name in English, um, H-O-W-C-O-M-E. So. Mm -hmm. You can also just search for how come actually. So there's no way to subscribe to your articles. What's that? There's no way to subscribe to no, your articles. No, I, I haven't RSS. added the RSS feed yet. I should, probably should be doing that. You, it's it's good that you bug me about this. <laughs> uh, I like to you know I like to to type all my my tags by hand. I don't like generators. I don't mm -hmm. like editors. I write everything in Emacs. So I probably just need to add RSS. To how do you code? How do you code CSS by hand still? By hand, absolutely. You don't use any CSS development environments. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I, I, and that's the same with all the HTML tags as well. I write them by hand. <laughs> mm, yeah, that makes a lot of work. <laughs> well, you know, it gets you, it gets you down to the to, to the ground. You know, you really feel the impact of all the, all the changes. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's good to know the editors as well. It's important that the editors come out with, with reasonable quality markup, and a lot of the times they don't, which is one reason I'm not um, using them. But I do generally prefer to to be very close to the ground. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you.